hey y'all welcome and welcome back to my channel for today's video i thought i would switch things up just a bit today i'm gonna be comparing the lip bars three-in-one conditioner to fenty's eavesdrop skin tint before i get into that in case this is your first time here i'm fair i do natural hair skincare and lifestyle content so please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button before you leave and you won't miss anything else from me so the weather here is already starting to be really nice you know outside is pretty much back open and i'm halfway vaccinated and sis is ready to be on the sidewalk not necessarily in the streets but the sidewalks so whenever i do leave the house i like putting on some type of skin tint or tinted moisturizer just to give myself a little a little zhuzh you know what i'm saying we can go ahead and get into this my face has already been cleansed moisturized i have on my primer and a little highlight already i like to just go ahead and do all of that underneath and i will have a links to everything that I use in the description box down below so be sure to check that out so on the left side of my face I'm going in with the lip bars three-in-one skin tint if you see me looking down it's because my vanity is down here and it's just easier sorry guys okay sorry if the lighting changed I just had to turn my <laughs> had to turn my light down a little bit just so you can hopefully see but um yeah i have the shade almond joy and i'm just going to put this directly onto my skin like so the lip bar actually comes in eight different shades you get one fluid ounce for 17 dollars now the three-in-one that it is supposed to do is supposed to hydrate because it has hyaluronic acid and it also has SPF because even if you are sitting in front of a computer screen all day, you still need your SPF sis. So I have SPF in my moisturizer that I use and now also in the skin tint on half of my face. That's what it's looking like. So you really can't tell the difference. It's really lightweight. Should I do, you know, for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna go in with a little more, but it's crazy. They say that you can um, use your fingers, but on this side, I'm just using my foundation brush because it's easier. Okay, so this is the lip bar side and this is nothing side all right so moving on to the Fenty eavesdrop so this is said to be like a blaring skin tint it is also supposed to hydrate all right so I'm just gonna use a sponge for this side that's what it's looking like so far um so yes this is also supposed to be hydrating and blurring i have this sh i have it in shade number 20. um there are 25 shades and this you get i think 1.08 fluid ounces for 29 dollars and 50 cents Okay, so same deal as the lip bar side. I'm just gonna go in with one more layer, but this is what one layer looks like, which is really fine with me. I don't really want a lot. I think you can kind of tell like a slight shade difference, but it is what it is. If you watch my Sephora haul video, then you know I've already purchased this in a deeper color, so. We shall see. What I love about using skin tint and like tinted moisturizers is like, it literally takes no time. It takes no time to like put yourself together. It's like five steps, if that. One thing I forgot to mention about this Fenty Eavesdrop is that it is said to be humidity, sweat, and transfer resistant, not proof but resistant. So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna first of all finish my entire face, but I'm also gonna kind of do like a rare test and put on a mask to 
I have a white mask? And just kind of see how much it transfers, if it transfers, and all that good stuff. So let me go ahead and finish this up and I'll be right This back. is my face completely done. And honestly, you just, I can't tell a major difference between the both of them. Um, no. So like I said, I'm just gonna come back in a few hours and just kind of see how it wears, see if I can tell a difference between the two at that point, and just kind of wrap up this video and see what you guys think. And put some earrings on. All right, so it's literally been like 11 hours and this is what my mask looks like. I'll probably just insert some footage because this is probably too bright, but this is my face. I haven't touched up. I haven't put any powder on. I've been outside to my mailbox like twice and I've worked a nine hour shift. So both of the skin tints, moisturizers, whatever you have put in work, um, they're still there. This is the lip bar side and it still looks good in my opinion. This is the Fenty side. Still looks good in my opinion. Don't forget I am an affiliate of the lip bar. So if you place an order, you get 10% off using my code Hey Naughty Girl. So definitely check that out in the description box if you are interested. But honestly, I feel like it just comes to a matter of preference. I don't think you could go wrong with either one. They both were kind of transfer resistant. And I mean, and that's all that I really have for you guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps out my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and your continual support. It just means the most to me, I swear. And I will see you all in the next one.